There's been a huge battle that's been going on in Shiba Inu, and we've kind of seen it all year playing out this way, right? <laughs> 2022 has been awful. All right, let's just call it what it is. It's 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 been rough for most of us, right? If you bought last year, you're probably down right now, okay? <laughs> I got into crypto early last year. I'm down on a lot of my stuff. There are some stuff that I'm up, up on, obviously, because I'm, I'm looking at you know some of these price levels and I'm accumulating. But there's this, this battle, right, between the bulls and the bears, okay? And right now, the bears are winning in this cycle. That's just that's just how bear market works. That's why you see the price is going down, right? Bears are winning this current battle that we're in. Now, that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean that the bears are going to win the war, right? <laughs> the good has to win the war, right? So what I thought was always a, a very interesting stat, it actually came out at the, the end of the third quarter of this year. And that's that between quarter two and quarter one of 2022, the money leaving crypto actually dropped by 97%. So a 97% drop in the amount of money leaving crypto. That is a huge, huge signal to me, guys. Okay. If that is taking that large of a decline, that means that the people that, you know, weren't necessarily necessarily in it for the long haul, the ones that were taking profits and just kind of left, they're gone, right? They they don't want any part of crypto anymore, at least at the current state of time. So what that means is there's just going to be these internal fluctuations, right? That's why over the last few months, we've seen just kind of these small moves. I mean, we're looking at, you know, the three month chart here for Shiba Inu, and we can see it's not a huge difference between, you know, three months ago and now it's not a very big difference at all. And actually, if we look at just the end of, uh, just the end of quarter three, I mean, we can see right here, we're within, you know, 15, 20% of where we're at in quarter at the end of quarter three. So this brings a lot of positivity to my mind, right? As I look towards the long term, okay, I, I'm a very long term, long minded thinking person, and I think we should all be that way in crypto, right? Crypto is not get rich quick. We don't see, you know, these. Some people see these huge, huge, you know, turnaround, like time in the bottom, time in the top. I mean, great if that's if that's what you can do, and you can do that every single time. Fantastic. Let me know who you're. Um, who you're using, whether that be like Miss Cleo or something like that, so I can get on board there. But I, I think more long term, right? I see the long term vision of of crypto. I see the long term vision of Shiba Inu. I see what the ecosystem could become and see how dominant it could be in the space. That's why I think that you know the the bulls are going to win the war. There's so much adoption that's happening and has yet to come. That's going to be happening in this next market cycle, especially as we start to approach regulation and things like that, because we know that it's going to be coming at some point. It's just a matter of what the framework of that actually looks like. And it seems like right now the the U.S. government has at least pumped the brakes on it. Right. They want to make sure they get it right, which is a good sign. OK, you know, if they were just jumping right in and, and possibly doing it the wrong way, that could obviously be a very negative thing for the crypto industry. But there's a lot of stuff that has to play out, at least at this point, before they get there. So that's that's just what's going on right now. I kind of wanted to <clears throat> talk about this, address this. You know, uh, this isn't you know supposed to be a fud or a negative segment or anything like that. But you know, there's these little battles that happen during this time. And again, right now the bears are winning the battle, but I don't think they're going to win the war. That's why I continue to accumulate. And obviously, you probably have your own plan as well. I love cheap crypto, so I continue to buy. <laughs> But as always, I appreciate you guys stopping in, checking out the video. As always, this is not financial advice. This is just for purely entertainment and informative purposes. Um, I do this obviously just to keep you guys updated and informed because then again, that way you can keep luck on your side just like me. Appreciate you guys as always. If you haven't already, show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. We've been growing like crazy. I appreciate all the time you guys spend watching the videos. I enjoy making content and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So hope you guys have a great day. Hope to catch you in the next one.